are you doing? My name is Ale. And welcome to the third and final episode of my mini series called Express Yourself. This episode is the one where I'm gonna be talking about my tattoos and it's my favorite one because I love tattoos and it's my favorite topic. It's okay to express yourself however you want. Was that a ghost? <laughs> Am I haunted? What was that? What the hell was that? Okay, anyways. I just wanted to communicate and tell people that it's okay to express yourself however you want. Don't let other people's opinions like mess with your own opinion of yourself. You can do whatever you want with your own body because that's yours, nobody else's. As I was like growing up, I kept like having these opinions and idea of like, you know, a tattoo is a lifelong commitment and because of that, you need to be absolutely, completely, a hundred thousand percent sure that you want it in your body because you can never get rid of it and then it's gonna be there forever. There was like my parents and specifically my mom would always tell me like people with tattoos are like people from jail, you know, like jailers and, and like people from, that, from gangs and like, like bad people only like wear tattoos. So if you wear a tattoo, if you have a tattoo, then you're gonna be seen like less by society nonsense <laughs> it's not true I guess before it was you know I guess in her like I understand where she came from I understand because in her time it was sort of like that yes but you know it's the same principle you have to not care about society man just do you let me tell you about when I realized what my first tattoo was gonna be what I wanted my first tattoo to be so I was in the beaches of Barcelona <laughs> Okay, this sounds pretentious as fuck, okay, but like, it's real. I was in the beaches of beautiful Barcelona in the summer of 2013 or 14. I was with my family and we were laying down in this beautiful Barcelona beach. There was obviously a lot of people of all types, sizes and ages with tattoos just like frolicking on the beach. And I remember I was like in a super cool, calm, relaxed place. Like I was just laying down in my towel, like just like taking the sun. So I started thinking about again, about like what I would like to be my first tattoo to be. Cause like I asked myself, what is something that you believe in really, really strongly and that you've always had and that you know that you always will. Like you know it's not gonna change. And the first thing that came to my mind was like freedom to do whatever you want in life, right? Have to have the freedom to be happy and to pursue your dreams and to do whatever you want. That's like something I'm always gonna believe in. I was like, all right, I like the word freedom, but I don't want like that cheesy, like typical tattoo of like freedom in like calligraphy. I don't know where, like in my ankle or something. Um, <laughs> I didn't want that. So I was like, I kind of want like a little bit more meaning because it's still a little bit too like broad. I asked myself, what is something that was like life changing for you or that you realized or you made a, an important decision for your life? And that's when it came to me like, whoa, when I decided that I wanted to study film, you know? And when I got inspired to study film was uh, when I was 12 years old and I would watch nonstop the extended version appendices and, and, and special features and featured uh, CDs of Lord of the Ring, okay? So so thanks Peter Jackson, you inspired me. That was the moment that I was like, that's what I want to do with my life. Like I want to grow up and I want to make movies. I want to make stories. I, I associate the Lord of the Rings with that. Kind of like my inspiration to, to go into the film industry. Another thing that ties again with this tattoo, around that age when I was like into the Lord of the Rings and that was going on, me and my best friend Diego, basically Diego and I learned Dwarvish and we were like, we learned Dwarvish. Like we're so geek. We were so geek. So I combined these three things and I made them into my first tattoo, which is this one. So this is the word freedom written in Dwarfish. And to me, it reminds me of my inspiration to go into film, and my passion to tell stories, my friendship with Diego and my geeky side, and my strong belief that everybody should have freedom and be able to be free to do whatever they want with their lives. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I lied to you just now. This was not my first tattoo. This is the first tattoo that I that I was like, okay, I'm getting this tattoo. But this is not the first one that I got. I thought it was gonna be the first one that I was gonna get. But fast forward some years, this is the first tattoo that I got. What it is is basically the words Expecto Patronum, which Expecto Patronum is the spell used in Harry Potter to repel the mentors, and the mentors are the representation basically of what depression is. 
So that's why I got this right here and I added the semicolon because the semicolon is the symbol of also fight against depression and suicide. It means that like when a writer is writing a sentence they they use the semicolon not to end the sentence, they decide to continue it on. So this is actually JK Rowling's handwriting, like this is her handwriting and um, I did not, she, she did not did it just for me, I found this online. This is also why this is the first one that I got because I got it right when I was sort of like still dealing with my worst part of the, my depression and kind of like getting out of it I was like okay this has been like one of my biggest struggles in life and I've survived so far so I think it's something I need in my body for the rest of my life obviously I'm a potterhead and it's like an honor to have JK Rowling's handwriting on me forever and then the second one I got was this one this is my third tattoo and I got it with my best friends Fanny and Nancy and this is us okay, Okay, so like when we were in high school, we called each other Las Tres Mellizas which Las Tres Mellizas was like a cartoon show for little kids that used to play when we were little it was about three triplets but each one had like a color so one was pink, one was always dressed blue and one was always dressed green we assigned the colors to like each one of us Nancy was the pink one, Fanny was the blue one and I was the green one the three of us got this same tattoo which by the way is my first and only so far color tattoo the green one which is the bottom one is all filled actually three different tones of green and it's filled because that's the one that I am Fanny has the blue one filled with three different tones of blue and Nancy has the pink one filled with three different tones of pink friendship tattoo GGG and I love it I love it because you know they're my best friends and they're gonna be with me forever and ever and it's cute my next tattoo don't show my bralette oops don't get flagged this one I got with Fanny this tattoo is basically Fanny's fingerprint on me in the shape of an airplane and then she has my fingerprint in the shape of an airplane as well <laughs> and she also has it on, on the same part of her body so we did this tattoo because we've had this like very special friendship for 10 years and well, as you know from my other video if you haven't seen it I made a video with her talking about tips for a long distance best friendship because that's what we've had these 10 years we've been best friends 10 years but sh we've only lived in the same city well now twice but it was just one year the first year when we met and then she moved to Guadalajara and then we were apart for all of these years so we kept like visiting each other hence the little airplane because it's also like you know no matter where we are we're always gonna be there for each other and she's touched my life in ways that cannot be untouched that sounds weird <laughs> That sounds weird. Scratch that. Um, she's, you know, been a big part of my life and I've been a big part of her life. We've helped each other get through a lot of shit. So that's why, you know, I wanted her fingerprint on me forever, no problem. The shape of an airplane. I think it's cute. Now let's pass to my last tattoo. This video is probably very long, I'm sorry. I freaking love this one. It's one of my favorites. This is my most recent and final tattoo that I have so far in my body. And what it is, is Buffy's Scythe, okay. Buffy the Vapor Slayer, right? If you don't know this show, I'm so sorry because this is the most amazing show ever. You need to watch it. It's on Hulu right now. Go watch it. Buffy has this weapon, which is the scythe. You can see her holding it. It's my scythe. I know that it looks like an axe, okay? It's a scythe. If Buffy says that it's a scythe, if just Widow who created Buffy and created the whole story says it's a scythe, it's a scythe, okay? It's a slayer scythe. It's basically this weapon that was forged specifically for the Slayer and it's like hers, like she can feel that it belongs to her. Spoilers, okay? Spoilers. The thing about Buffy, I might need to explain a lot. The thing about Buffy is like there's one Slayer in every generation, but just one. One girl that has all of these superpowers. She has all of these like women power and like, but it's hers only. And then there's all of these other potential slayers which is kind of creepy but they're there in case in case the slayer dies another one is called right the power of the slayer is somehow embedded in the scythe so what Buffy figured out and she used this to sort of save the world at the end of season 7 was that she with the help of very powerful witch Willow Rosenberg she did a spell to get the power of the slayer out of the scythe and put it into the world, out into the world and spread it into every potential slayer. So now every potential slayer becomes a slayer and there's not just one slayer, there's many slayers in the whole world. Like she basically empowered 
women. <laughs> Which is something that I am like in love with, and it's something that I am constantly trying to do. It's something that I want to fight for for the rest of my life. I want to empower women. I am in love with this idea and this mission. And so that's why I put this on my arm. Also, I always wanted to get a Buffy tattoo because Buffy, I am a hardcore fan of Buffy if you haven't noticed already. It's not only like like to empower women, it's like to empower myself. So like whenever I feel weak or I forget my own huh, thing that I have because I'm a woman. You know, I look at this and I remember Buffy and I remember the strength that comes with being the slayer and being a woman and you know, give me my strength back, right? So I have these two here because they're like against depression, against anything else. <laughs> Defense, you know, ta ta ta. Am I too geeky? Yes, <laughs> that's the answer. Those are my tattoos that I currently have. I was gonna talk about the ones that I wanna get, but I believe that this video is already very, very long. I might do that in another video, separate from this. If you'd like me to do that, let me know in the comments below and I'll tell you about my ideas for future tattoos. It's a wrap with the series. Thank you so much for watching my Express Yourself series. Any thoughts on the matter, any comments at all, tell me about your tattoos. I love tattoo stories. I love tattoo meanings. Hold on, before you leave, I wanna give a special shout out to my sister because she released her YouTube channel. Yay! So please go follow my sister. She's amazing. She's funny. Her channel is in Spanish though. Disclosure. I'm gonna put the link to her channel in the description. Go subscribe to my sister. It's a command. See you in the next one. I'm gonna go now. Bye. Let's dance. I'm from